Fellow Trojan family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, USC is now getting ready to turn their attention to two true freshmen. That is Jadi Abbasari and Carlon Jones. You guys already know, especially Carlon Jones. You guys know he was on my channel. We talked about how he was enthused about coming to this USC football program and really being a top contributor as a freshman. We talked about him in the spring. We talked about his big body. We talked about the physicality that he played with in high school. But now we're about to turn our attention as he transitioned into getting some big time playing time. Now, Carlon Jones, you guys know he was in the boot for a while and he just coincidentally returned back to practice yesterday. And now, well this week rather, and now uh, with the with the absence and the exit of uh, Bear Alexander, now it's going to make room for these true freshmen. Look, you always want guys that's going to be there. You want guys that's going to be um, team players. We talked about this chemistry on this football team. This chemistry, you know, is, is priceless. You you can't put a price on this. Um, the chemistry that this team has, Coach Eric Henderson has built this uh, defensive line room. Um, not just not just with recruiting wise, but he's built it with the chemistry wise these guys have camaraderie that you know they love each other they're together so now we're getting ready to see two true freshmen guys like Jad Abasari and guys like Carlon Jones who's getting ready to be there Carlon Jones has a 300 pound body now it's listed now on the depth chart that Gavin Myers backup is going to be Jadi Abasari Jad Abasari he has a big body as well he looks like a man already you know with that six foot I believe it's what six foot five six foot six body and it's uh 300 pound 297 300 pound body um he was making some noises in practice and then you see flashes of him this year in some games and so now we have an opportunity to put both of these guys and experience is going to be everything and so i can't even imagine what these guys to be next year but now when we look at the schedule um these are the two true freshmen that are, that are going to really be the focus and yes we have rod tomato as well but, uh, but these are the, going to be the two guys that we can really focus on that's going to make, be major contributors on this defensive line. It's going to, be, it's going to be, continue to be a rotation. And so um, let's take a look at the schedule because the schedule, it's not going to be the type of defensive line that we've already faced. Um, you guys know we stated that Michigan, that was the, probably the, the, uh, the toughest O-line um, that USC faced. And even Michigan, Michigan – was, oh, excuse me, LSU. LSU and Michigan were the two toughest defensive lines that USC was probably going to face this year. And so when you look at it, um, let's take a look at our schedule real quick and the remaining of what these guys that are getting ready to contribute are going to be involved with. All right, we're going to take a look at the remaining part of the schedule, but, you know, we got to get into this Wisconsin game. We had so much distraction going on with all of this different stuff with, with Bear Alexander, but now we got to start locking in and focusing on what we got to focus on, and that is focusing on the actual, uh, you know, the games that are getting ready to take place with the, the USC has to take place with. So, you know, of course, this weekend it's going to be Wisconsin. Um, you guys know uh, Wisconsin always brings physicality, uh, but it's not the Wisconsin team that we've known throughout the past year, the dominant running team, but they are going to try to present um, and try to do some smash mouth running and they're going to have more passing than anything. Uh, more pass is going to be more of a balanced attack. It's not going to be to just run, 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 like, of course, Michigan was. And so when you look at them, yeah, we're going to have to get down and dirty with it on the defensive front. But I think Carlon Jones and, and uh, Jade Abbasari um, are going to be contributors. When you talk about Wisconsin and Minnesota, we got them. They're not, you know, easy, uh, just, a, just a pushover. But I think those, those guys, um, both of those guys will be able to move and grow as it relates to that game. But then here's the one we really want to look at, Penn State. You know that they're going to be more of a, a presence when you're talking about the offensive line um, if our, as far as competition is concerned uh, for those guys on the offensive line. So those are, those are the guys that we really got to get ready. I trust Gavin Meyer. I trust Nate Clifton. I trust everybody that our coaching staff trusts, even Kobe Pepe. We trust him as well. Kobe Pepe is going to be a big-time player in the rotation. Um, and so, look, 
Now USC is absolutely turning their attention to all of these guys. And then the Maryland game, we got to watch that game as well. Maryland's going to be a game that we want to see these guys perform. And then Rutgers, those are, those are, uh, you know, Rutgers is, um, it seems to be playing pretty decent right now. Was, uh, you know, like a sleeper team that's been playing well. Not a sleeper team in the fact that they will be a playoff team, but just a sleeper team that they're sleep, sneaky, it's kind of sneaky good that a lot of people are not paying attention to. And then, of course, we got to go to Washington. Um, we know what they, they lost quite a bit of players um, at the, on that Washington team. But, however, I think um, – they're playing okay football right now, but it's not the best of the best, but they're playing okay football. I mean, in Nebraska, that's a game that we got to really watch as well. Um, when you see what you see, we want to try to have a, a, a major um, presence in the defensive line to get after a guy like Dylan Raiola. You know that he's, he's slinging the ball all kinds of uh, all over the field. That's a, that's a guy that we want to absolutely get after and cause major pressures on. So Nebraska might be one of those teams that uh, we have to make sure we get in that backfield. But then UCLA is going to be that game. Uh, you know, it's, it's the rivalry game. But, you know, I don't feel like it's going to be that much of, of, a, of a major um, factor in these guys not having penetration. But then the game we always got to watch is Notre Dame because they, they're going to bring, bring a physical presence. They're going to bring on the offensive line and defensive line. They always do. So, look, man, this is the schedule. We're turning our attention now to the freshmen. And, look, it's straight up go time with them, man. So.